Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we are going to take up another challenging question from radical equations. It is 4th root of 4 times 388 minus x square plus square root 2x equal to 10. We have to find out only real solutions. So let's get started by writing one powerful property of radicals. It is nth root of a times b. Then we can write it is nth root of a product with nth root of b. So I will apply this property to our two terms of LHS. Let's apply. So I can write 4th root of 4 times 4th root of 388 minus x square plus square root of 2 times square root of x equal to 10. Now, 4th root of 4. So I will be writing here 4th root of 4. We can write it is 4 power 1 over 4. Further, we can write 4 power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. We can use exponent property and we can write 4 power half, whole power half. And 4 power half is root 4, it is 2. So 2 power 1 over 2, which is equal to square root 2. So I will put here root 2. So this will become root 2 times 4th root of 388 minus x square plus root 2 times root x equal to 10. Now I will divide both sides by root 2. So I will write here root 2 and this side also root. So I can cancel root 2, root 2 and root 2. Now right hand side I will be multiplying here with root 2 in numerator denominator. So this is 2. 2 I will cancel by writing over there 5. So our ultimate equation converts into 4th root of 388 minus x square plus root x equal to 5 root 2. Now I will use substitution. Let me write here 4th root of 388 minus x square plus root x equal to 5 square root 2. Now let us consider 388 minus x square this equal to y square. Let me write here let 388 minus x square equal to y square. So from here I can write one equation x square plus y square equal to 388 and second equation will come from substitution it will be fourth root of y square plus root x equal to 5 square root 2. So I can write this will be root y plus root x equal to 5 root 2. So we have ultimately one system of equation where first equation is root x plus root y equal to 5 root 2 and second equation is sum of squares x square plus y square equal to 388. Now from the given equation we can conclude few points. See x must be greater than 0. Okay as per substitution we can conclude from this equation also x greater than 0. So y will be also greater than 0 for real solutions only. Let's solve this system first. So I will consider the squaring of equation number 1. Let us consider squaring of 1. So I will put both sides power 2 
this side also power 2 a plus b whole square so root x square x root y square y plus 2 times root x times root y and right hand side will be 25 times 2 so it will be 50 now i will presume let root x y suppose it is equal to t because i can write our equation x plus y plus 2 times root x y equal to 50 so x plus y plus 2t equal to 50 or i can write x plus y equal to 50 minus 2t now as per condition x greater than 0 y greater than 0 so x plus y will be always positive this value will be greater than 0 so right hand side this should also be greater than 0 so i can say 2t should be less than 50. Divide this inequality by 2, t should be less than 25. Condition for t is ready. Now I will take the squaring of this equation once again. Because of we have second equation x square plus y square is equal to 388. So let us consider the squaring of this equation. So I will be writing x plus y whole square equal to 50 minus 2t whole square. So I can write x square plus y square plus 2xy. And right hand side I will be writing 50 minus 2t whole square. I will expand little later. Left hand side x square plus y square is 388. This value. 2xy root xy is t so xy will be t square so i will write plus 2t square and right hand side is 50 minus 2t whole square now i will take expansion in rhs so let us write 388 plus 2t square plus 2t square and right hand side is 50 minus 2t whole square. Let's apply a minus b whole square formula in RHS. So I will be writing 388 plus 2t square equal to 2500 is the square of 50 plus 4t square is the square of 2t and twice ab then minus 200t. Take all the term to one side, we will have one quadratic equation. Equation will be 4t square minus 2t square. So 2t square minus 200t, 2500 minus 388. So it is 2112 equal to 0. Equation is divisible by 2. So we can write t square minus 100t plus 1056 it is equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula. So I can write t equal to minus b so 100 plus minus square root b square so 100 square is 10,000 minus 4ac so 4 times 1056 it will be 4224 divided by 2a so 2 here we can write 100 plus minus the square root 10000 minus 4224 it is 5776 divided by 2 and the square root of 5776 is 76 only so I will be writing 100 plus minus 76 over 2 with plus sign 176 over 2 with minus sign 24 over 2. Further if I will write then it is 88 
and this is 12. This is the value of t. Now if you remember the condition on t, it was t less than 25. So immediately I can reject this value. So this is the value of t which I will accept as per our solution. So t is equal to 12 I will consider. t equal to 12. t was square root xy equal to 12. Once square root xy is 12, squaring both sides, we can write xy is equal to 144. Now I will write one equation, x plus y equation, 50 minus 2t. Let me write, it was 50 minus 2t. So I can write here, for t equal to 12, I will be writing x plus y, 50 minus 2 times 12. So let me write here. It will become 50 minus 24. So this value will be 26. And this is our x plus y, which I will consider sum of roots. Here product of roots. Let's frame one quadratic equation whose roots are x and y. And I will frame that quadratic in x itself. Because we are going to calculate x only. So x square minus sum of roots, so 26x plus product of roots, 144 equal to 0. This is our final quadratic equation. From here we will have our solutions. Let's use quadratic formula once again. x is equal to minus b. So 26 plus minus is square root, 26 is square, it is 676. Minus 4ac, 4 times 144, so it is minus 576 divided by 2. So I can write here 26 plus minus root 100 by 2. So we can write x is equal to 26 plus minus 10 divided by 2 with plus sign 36 over 2 with minus sign 16 over 2. So we will have two values 18 and 8. Let us verify whether it is true or not. So I will check both the values. I will consider our equation in this form. Fourth root of t388 minus x square plus root x equal to 5 root 2. Let's check. Let me write, let me check the very first value first. So x is equal to, suppose I am taking 8 first. So I will write our LHS. Fourth root of 388 minus 64. 8 square is 64. Plus square root 8. So this value is fourth root of 388 minus 64 is 324 plus root 8. Now 324 is, we can write it is whole square of 18. So I can write here fourth root of 18 is square plus root 8. So I can write here is square root 18 only plus root 8. Now square root 18 is 2 times 9, so 3 root 2. Square root 8, 8 can be written as 2 times 4, so 2 root. So summation will be 5 root 2, which is our RHS. Hence this value is verified. Now let us consider x is equal to 18. Now I will be putting this value to our LHS. Fourth root of 388 minus 18 square 324 plus square root 18. Now this value will be fourth root of 388 minus 324 64 plus root 18 
8 square it is. So I will be writing this is 8 square plus root 18. Now power 1 by 4 and 2 we will cancel. It will be left only square root 8 plus square root 18. Again we can write this is 2 root 2. This is 3 root 2. Sum will be 5 root 2 which is our RHS. So our both solutions are verified. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for paying attention. Thanks a lot. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.